You want to ride a Stump Jumper Evo without having to rob a bank? The new alloy version could be the one for you. Let's dig in. So today we're going to be getting into a bike that we are very excited about. We are huge fans of aluminum bikes and Specialized is too, right? They are able to bring that same badass shredder attitude that the Stump Jumper Evo is known for into a more affordable aluminum frame package. Uh, what's really cool is that they were able to transfer over a lot of the little features and creature comforts that Specialized fans know and love into this alloy frame. So you've still got the swap box integration. You've got very adjustable geometry. Uh, you've got six style specific size offerings thanks to their S size or reach sized um, sizing structure. And of course, uh, you've got two different options available depending on your budget and a very affordable frame set option. The frame starts at $1,900. The Elite, which is the top of the line alloy Evo is $5,600 and the Comp retails for $3,800. So um, <clears throat> the bike as you see it here in this Elite package, we would say is the very absolute shredder package. Um, you've got an aluminum frame, but you've got the best of the best when it comes to suspension components. You've got high quality drivetrain. You've got great brakes. This bike is ready to shred, but you're not spending an arm and a leg just to get into a carbon frame or, or a bunch of other parts that may not be a huge difference out on the trail and uh, you can upgrade to later. So this bike features specialized RX tune, 150 millimeters of rear wheel travel with a 160 fork up front, the Fox 36 factory Kashima stuff has been working great on our test bikes so far. Um, again, very smart component spec package. So you've got some code brakes, but you save some money with the SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain. Um, it works, it's fine, it saves money. These are parts that are gonna wear out, you can upgrade down the road. So uh, a lot of attention was placed in the parts that matter, suspension, brakes, and some cost savings, again, where you may not need them. Um, six adjustable geometry positions on this bike again it's something that you see you know highly adjustable bikes throughout the specialized line whether it's the levo uh, the carbon bikes or this evo alloy here um, you can really fine tune and tweak the geometry the body position the size and length of this bike to best suit the terrain that you have and your riding style so our testers are all about 5'11 to 6 foot 1. We opted for the S4 size, which has a 475 millimeter reach. Uh, if you've seen many of our videos, you'll know 475 is our sweet spot. We absolutely love a 475 reach. Going up to a 480 is kind of right in our, our wheelhouse. We love that size. Uh, kind of blends stability, but playfulness and nimbleness on some of the tighter trails too. Now you can adjust the head tube angle from uh, 64 and a half degrees plus or minus two and a half degrees with the headset cups. Uh, you have a 76.9 degree seat tube angle, 441 seat stays and a 1249 wheelbase all making this bike a lot of fun. We tested it exclusively in the 29 inch wheeled platform. Um, it can be swapped over to mullet, but um, for what this bike is, you know, and, and where we've been riding it, we've been more than happy running it as a full 29er. Uh, the speed is great, uh, rollover is nice, and it's still plenty playful and snappy that uh, we just really didn't find the need to go 27.5. Um, that's not to say that if we owned this bike and had it for a lot longer, there wouldn't be places that we wouldn't want to go with a mullet uh, rear end, because uh, it probably would make it even more fun. But, you know, here in the high desert, speed it matters and uh, there's a lot of chunky rocks so we like having that rollover now as far as the overall performance of this bike we have spent a lot of time riding it in a lot of different terrain um, and it it's really blown us away i think that for 5600 bucks right um, you know there might be some consumer direct brands that have full carbon bikes with similar specs out there but I, I don't know how many of them ride as well as this bike does. There are certainly a couple, um, but we are firm believers that uh, a bike isn't as good as the parts you hang off of it, right? There's a lot to be said for suspension tune, kinematics, uh, frame design, and you know, 
Simply put, right, when you're a large company, you can have a larger R&D department, you can have a larger development team, you can spend more time testing and developing bikes to make sure they ride really well. Um, and again, not to say that smaller brands can't make good bikes, because they do, but um, Specialized does a really dang good job of making a bike that is uh, a crowd-pleasing, geo, suspension, tune, uh, kinematics, it, like it, they just do a good job. And this is a great example of a bike that it is really pretty simple. It will please a lot of people and is a shitload of fun on the trails. Um, that's it, all right? Like this bike is, it's affordable. If you step down into that $3,800 price point, um, you're probably, depending on your rider level, right? Maybe you, you don't want to invest so highly. Maybe it's just not in your budget, right? Depending on how serious you are about riding. You can get a pretty killer bike for 3,800 bucks. <clears throat> if you want to get that bike and upgrade some suspension parts down the line, you're gonna be stepping into something in this ballpark, which can absolutely be ridden at the highest level. I've got no doubt that you could put a specialized pro rider on this thing, and he would not be held back compared to someone riding a carbon stumpy Evo. Um, in fact, there are some places where I think an, an aluminum frame does better. And uh, again, I'm a huge fan of alloy frames, and I think they have a place out on the trail, absolutely. So. Um, Specialized has excited our whole crew with this bike. It is a lot of fun. It's simple. Like, you know, I don't want to spend a ton of time talking a whole lot about it because it's very simple in some ways, but also very detail oriented in other ways. You know, the, the amount that you can adjust the geometry on this, the different positions that you can combine out of that rear end, combined with the adjustments to the headset cups. I mean, there's a number of different configurations that you can make to really fine tune this bike. But once it's dialed, right? If you're not one of the, if you're like a set it and forget it kind of rider, <clears throat> That's it, just ride this thing and you will absolutely have a blast. As far as pedaling performance and climbing goes, the Geo's comfortable. Uh, not the steepest seat tube angle in the game, but also not super laid back and relaxed. I think it puts you in a nice spot. We definitely found ourselves using the climb switch on the shock uh, a bit if they were longer grunts. Um, Overall though, a pretty solid pedaler. You know, it's not a, a VPP or maybe a DW bike, but it's not too far off. Um, and the flip side is that you get a little bit more supple and softer feel in some conditions on the downhill. So um, again, I would say this tr this bike excels um, in a number of places, right? Like the, if it's a swoopy flow trail, if you're riding jump trails, if you're plowing over some chunk, it really feels at home in a lot of places, which is um, a, a really big compliment to a bike that has the pedigree from, you know, bikes that cost twice as much and have been around in development for a long time. So really they're taking a lot of those benefits that they've worked to refine and tune over the years and just bring it down to an aluminum frame, which lowers the price for a lot more riders. So um, yeah, I, I think before we start talking in circles on this thing, it, it's easy to give this bike two thumbs up. Specialized has done a very good job on this. Uh, you, you know, you can maybe critique some of the spec calls and value things, but that's, that's, you know, you're never going to get everything just right. And I think maybe if there are some spots where spec, you know, might be a little cheaper than some others for the price point, you're making up for it in the overall feel, the ride and the adjustable geometry spec uh, features of this bike. And again, it's a, it's a bike we've got no qualms recommending to you guys if you're in the market for an aggressive 150, 160 aluminum shredder. So props to Specialized, thumbs up. Thank you guys very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe down below. We've got a lot more reviews coming in the future and we'd love to see you back for the next video.